Hello everyone, my name is Joelle. Welcome to lesson 47, Total Body Yoga. We will start in Tadasana. Feel free to close your eyes. Feet hip distance apart. Press the four corners of the feet into the ground. Lift your kneecaps upward to firm your thigh muscles. Draw your belly in and up. Drop uh, tailbone towards your heel to lengthen your lower back. Belly in and up. Engage uh, the abdominal muscles, keeping that uh, strength stretched down from underneath the rib cage all the way down to the legs and feet at the same time. Stretch up through the neck and head. Draw your shoulders uh, back, broaden your collarbones. Let the arm uh, rest uh, by the sides and relax the shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Let's uh, shift our awareness uh, inside to prepare for the practice. Let's check in with the body, set an intention for this practice. Let's uh, inhale, reach uh, both arms uh, straight up overhead. As you um, exhale, lower your right arm down, the right side of your body and lengthen the left arm over the head, bending body gently to the right. Inhale, return to, to uh, center, arms overhead. Exhale as you repeat to the left uh, side of your body. Inhale and exhale. Let's go back to center. Twist hands in Anjali Mudra uh, at heart center. Take a big inhale, exhale. The upper torso twist to the right with your upper body, but make sure your hips are pointing forward. Open your arms wide apart at shoulder level. Inhale and exhale. Let's go back to center and change uh, sides. Take a big uh, uh, inhale, exhale the upper torso, twist to the left with your upper body, but make sure your hips are pointing uh, forward. Open your arms uh, apart at shoulder level. Inhale and exhale. Let's uh, go back to center. Let's stand in Tadasana, hands by your side. Inhale, hands out, round and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, hands on shins. Plant your palm. Exhale, step back into plank. Activate your core, wrist up directly under shoulders, straight arms, press the mat away, firm your legs, lift your kneecaps, then lightly lower all the way down to the floor. Press your pelvis, uh, press uh, the top of your feet down, elbows in, inhale, lift your chest, baby cobra, exhale, let's go back to all four into cat and cow to warm our spine up. Inhale, gaze up, arch the back, drop the belly, exhale, round the back. Inhale, gaze up, drop the belly, arch the back, exhale, round the back. Inhale, into cow, exhale, into cat. Inhale, Gaze up, drop the belly, arch the back, exhale, round the back. Inhale, drop the belly, arch the back, exhale, round the back. From, uh, your, from your hands and knees, bring your hands slightly in, in front of your shoulders. Uh, spread uh, your uh, fingers wide, press down through knuckles and uh, tuck your toes under. Exhale as you lift your knees off uh, the mat, lift your hips uh, up and back, downward facing dog. Walk your dog by bending one knee and then the other, slowly pedaling out your legs. Let's uh, bend uh, one knee and uh, hold. Enjoy 
uh, stretching the hamstring, glutes and calves. Let's uh, bend uh, the other knee and hold. Enjoy the stretch. Inhale and exhale. From here, press firmly through your palms and knuckles. Press your index fingers into the floor. Rotate your arms externally so your elbow creases face uh, your thumbs. Your lower ribs in, belly in and up. Stretch your back. Maintain a flat back. Downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, holding downward facing dog. From here, walk your hands to the back of the mat. Exhale, feet grounded, bend the, the knees, hinge from the hips, bring your arms together, hands uh, touching opposite uh, elbows and sway from side to side and let any tension from the day cascade down through your spine, through your head and out into the floor. From here, place uh, one hand in front of you, take a gentle bend in the same side leg, extend your opposite arm into the sky and twist to one side, torso upward and gaze up. Let's uh, twist uh, to the other side. Let's twist to one side, inhale center, exhale, twist to the other side, inhale center, exhale, uh, twist uh, to one side, inhale center, exhale, twist to the other side, inhale center, exhale, twist to one side. From here, let's walk the hands uh, back to the front of the mat. Let's uh, press uh, firmly through your palms and knuckles. Press index fingers into the floor. Rotate your arms externally so your elbow creases face your thumbs. Your lower ribs in, belly in and up. Stretch your back. Maintain a flat back. Downward facing dog. At the end of your exhale, bend both knees and walk your feet to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back, hands on uh, shins, exhale, forward fold, press through your feet, come all the way up to stand, inhale, arms out, round and up, exhale, hands to heart, samastitihi. Let's stand in Tadasana, arms by your side, inhale, hands out, round and up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, flat back, hands on shins, exhale, plant the palms, step back to plank, hold plank for a moment, activate your core, then lightly, let's activate the core, hold the plank, then lightly lower your knees, keep your chest wide, elbows in, exhale, lower all the way down to the floor, press uh, your pelvis uh, down, press the top of your feet, activate your core, lift your chest to cobra, let's uh, go back to uh, all uh, fours, tuck your toes, press through hands and knees all the way up and back into downward facing dog. Let's uh, take a five breath, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, breathe in and breathe out, we hold downward facing dog, breathe in and breathe out, At the end of your exhale, bend the both knees and walk your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back, hands on shins. Exhale, fold forward. Press uh, through your feet. Come all the way up to stand. Inhale, hands out, uh, round and up. Exhale, hands to heart, samastitihi. Let's stand in Tadasana, arms by your side. Inhale, hands out, round and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, hands on shin. Exhale, a step back to plank. Activate your core, fingers wide, 
actively engage the muscle through the arms and upper back press the mat away uh, from you reach your heels back let's uh, get uh, ready to go into a uh, side plank roll into the outer edge of your right foot and stack your left foot on top of your right as you lift your weight into your right hand reach your left arm up straight towards the ceiling lengthen your body to create a longer line from uh, your heels to your head let's uh, go back to center let's uh, change side roll into the outer edge of your left uh, foot and stack your right foot on top of your uh, left uh, as you lift your weight into your left hand let's go back to center and uh, from all fours we go into child pose uh, spread the, your knees wide apart while keeping your big toes touching send your hips uh, back towards your heel on an exhalation bow forward dropping your torso between your thighs allow your forehead to come to the floor keep your arms uh, long and extended palms uh, facing down inhale and exhale let's go back to all fours tuck the toes send the hips back and up into downward facing dog four five breath inhale and exhale breathe in and breathe out inhale and exhale inhale and exhale At the end of your exhale, bend uh, both knees, walk to the front of the mat, inhale, flat back, hands on shins, exhale, forward fold, press through your feet, come all the way up to stand, inhale, hands out, round and up, exhale, hands to heart, samastitihi. Let's stand in Tadasana, hands by your sides, take a slow rest in, exhale, all the way out let's step the right foot back for warrior two front heel is aligned with back arch front knee aligned directly above the heel the knee is tracking towards the second toe next to the big toe front uh, sitting bone drawing under hips uh, level pelvis level arms open shoulder height gaze over the middle finger Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's reverse the warrior. Keep the front knee bent. Slide your right hand down your, your back leg. Lift uh, your left arm straight up and come into a side bend. Let's straighten the front leg. Let's shift the hips to the right and move the arms and spine to the left to the point of maximum extension. Uh, release the hand on a shin to ease the lengthening and slight rotation of the spine. Torso turn to the side wall and align directly over the leg. Inhale and exhale, triangle pose. Let's make sure we have a block placed at the front of the mat. From a triangle pose, we will transition into half moon. Uh, bend the front knee and place the fingertips about a foot in uh, front of uh, the front foot. On the block, we slide the back uh, foot closer to the front foot. We begin slowly to straighten the front leg while we keep the back hip rotated fully open. Flex the back foot and open the toes. Let's gently place the back leg down to go back into warrior two. Inhale and exhale. Let's inhale and exhale. Let's change sides and make sure we have a block placed at the back of uh, the mat let's uh, change side for warrior two 
front heel is aligned with back arch, front knee aligned directly above the heel. The knee is tracking towards the second toe next to the big toe. Front uh, sitting bone drawing under, hips level, pelvis level, arms open shoulder height, gaze over the middle finger. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's reverse the warrior. Keep the front knee bent. Slide your left hand down your back leg. Lift your right arm straight up and come into a side bend. Let's straighten the front leg. Let's shift the hips to the left and move the arms and spine to the right to the point of maximum extension. Release the hand on a shin to ease the lengthening and slight rotation of the spine. Torso turn to the side wall and align directly over the leg. Inhale and exhale. And let's uh, make sure we have the block placed at the, uh, from the back of the mat. From a triangle, we will transition to half moon. Bend the front knee and place the fingertip about a foot in front of the of the front foot on the block. We slide the back foot closer to the front foot and we go into half moon. From half moon, let's uh, go back into warrior two. Let's go back to center and we go into a skandasana. Bend your left uh, knee into a half squat. Keep your right uh, leg straight and flex your foot, rooting the right heel. Hands to heart in Anjali Mudra. Press hips uh, back while keeping spine lifted. From here, let's uh, transition into warrior two. Inhale and exhale, warrior two. From warrior two, Let's uh, transition into half moon. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Make sure you have two blocks, one on each side of the mat. Let's go back into warrior two. We place the block and we're going to change sides. Let's uh, go into a Skandasana. From Skandasana, we're going to transition into Warrior Two. Inhale and exhale. From warrior two, we inhale and we exhale and we're going to transition into half moon. Flex the back foot, open the toes. The back hip is rotated fully open, half moon. And Let's uh, release gently to go back into warrior two. From warrior two, let's uh, go back to center. Let's interlace the fingers behind the back, lengthen the spine, open the heart, fold forward into Prasarita Padottanasana. Move your weight into the balls of the feet while grounding the front of the heels, hips directly over the heels, relax the neck. Let's bring our hands to rest on the floor. One hand stays on the floor and we lift the other arm up towards the ceiling, twisting through the torso. Inhale and exhale. Let's uh, change side. 
we bring uh, both hands uh, to rest on the floor. One hand uh, stays on the floor and we lift the other arm up towards the ceiling, twisting through the torso. Inhale and exhale. From here, bring uh, yourself uh, to Skandasana. Bend your right knee and root your left heel into the mat. Once your hips are close to the mat, pivot onto the ball of your left foot while placing both hands on the floor. Square your hips and keep uh, your left hand down on the floor and lift your right arm up and twist. Let's change side. We go back to center and we go into Skandasana. Bend uh, your uh, left knee and root uh, your right heel into the mat. Once your hips are close to the mat, pivot onto the ball of your right foot while placing both hands on the floor. Square your hips and keep uh, your right uh, hand down on the floor and lift your left arm up and twist. Let's uh, go back to center, bend both knees, lift up one vertebrae at a time. Let's uh, stand in Tadasana, inhale and uh, exhale. Let's uh, inhale and exhale. We stand in Tadasana, inhale and exhale. We go into three pose. Let's place the heel above or below the knee. Keep the hands on the hips. For a moment or if you want raise the arms up activate the core pelvis neutral hips level abduction of the lifted leg steady gaze a steady breath inhale and exhale inhale and exhale three pose let's change sides let's uh, go back into tadasana inhale and exhale Let's uh, place the heel above or below the knee. Place the hands on the hip uh, for a moment. Or if you want to uh, raise the arms up, activate the core, pelvis neutral, hip level, abduction of the lifted leg, steady gaze, steady breath. Three pose. Inhale and exhale. Let's uh, release. And let's stand in Tadasana. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's uh, open our feet out to the sides. Let's uh, go into Warrior Two. Open the arms, uh, shoulder height, gaze over the middle finger, warrior two. Inhale and exhale, warrior two. Let's reverse the warrior. Let's uh, inhale and exhale, reverse the warrior. Let's straighten the right leg, flex your right foot to bring your toes off the uh, ground. Pivot your heel, turn your toes in and bend your left knee to go into warrior two. Open uh, arms, shoulder height, gaze over the middle uh, finger and reverse your warrior. Let's uh, straighten the left leg, flex uh, your left foot to bring your toes off the ground, pivot your heel and turn your toes in. Make sure that the edges of your feet are parallel. Inhale, fold forward, bring hands uh, to the uh, floor, bring your left uh, palm in uh, center, inhale, extend the right arm, finding the twist, gaze uh, towards the extended arm, 
and let's change uh, sides bring your right uh, palm in center inhale extend the left arm finding twist gaze toward extended arm let's uh, go back to center let's release bring yourself into a skandasana bend uh, your right knee and uh, root your uh, left heel into the mat um, once once uh, your hips are close to the mat pivot onto the ball of your left foot while placing both hands on the floor and lift your right arm up and twist let's go back to center and change sides let's uh, go into a skandasana bend uh, your uh, left knee and root your right heel into the mat once uh, your hips are close to the mat pivot onto the ball of your right foot while placing both hands on the floor and lift your left arm up and twist let's go back to center let's go let's step back into plank activate uh, your core wrist uh, up directly under shoulder uh, straight arms Let's go into side plank, roll into the outer edge of your right foot and stack your left foot on top of your right. As you lift uh, your weight uh, into your right hand, reach your left arm up straight towards the ceiling. Let's go back to center and change sides. Roll into the outer edge of your left foot and stack your right foot on top of your left. As you lift your weight into your left hand, reach uh, your right arm up uh, straight towards the ceiling. Let's go back to center into all four on two child pose. Send your hips uh, back towards your heels, big toes touching, knees wide, forehead on the mat. Arms extended in front of you. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. From all fours, we go on to dolphin pose. Four arms and elbows parallel. Curl your toes under, then exhale and lift your knees away from the floor. Press the forearms actively into the floor. Straighten your knees, lengthen your tailbone away from the pelvis and lift the top of your sternum away from the floor. Relax your head, but do not let it dangle. Dolphin pose. Let's release our knees to the floor and we go back into child pose inhale and exhale let's uh, go back into dolphin pose for arms and elbow parallel curl the toes under then exhale and lift your knees away from the floor and from here we go into one legged dolphin for a bigger challenge for a bigger challenge Walk your feet a little forward, lift one leg up towards the sky and lower the leg and repeat on the other side. Lift one leg up, flex foot and then the other. Let's lift one leg up and then the other. Let's uh, go back into a uh, child pose. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, child pose. Shift your body forward and place your forearms on uh, to the floor with hands uh, shoulder distance apart and your shoulders stacked above your elbows. Step your feet back, root uh, down 
with your uh, big uh, toe mounts and press your heel, uh, heels back, forearm plank. Let's go into side forearm plank, right forearm in line with leg, lift your left arm straight up towards the ceiling, uh, left foot rest on uh, right foot, lift body through waistline, return to center and switch sides. From here, let's go back to center, let's lie on stomach, place hands on top of each other, forehead on hands and move the hips from side to side. Inhale and exhale. Let's uh, go into a sphinx pose, press into uh, the legs, glue the toenails into the mat and engage your kneecaps and quadriceps, engage your core, forearm parallel, press firmly into the palm of your hands and forearms and lift your upper body, inhale and uh, exhale. Let's uh, go back to child pose and uh, we inhale and we exhale. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in and breathe out, child pose. Let's go into all four. Sit on your side to go on your backs. We go into happy baby, clasping the feet and drawing the knees towards the floor while keeping the sacrum flat on the floor and the heels are lined over the knees. Move the spine from side to side and massage the back. We move the spine from side to side and we massage the back. Let's go into thread the, the needles. Let's uh, uh, bend both knees, bring uh, the right uh, ankle, cross it over the left thigh, bring uh, your hand through and interlace the fingers, holding on to the left leg behind the thigh. Flex uh, both feet, focus on the breath, inhale and exhale. Let's change sides. We bring the left ankle, cross it over the right thigh, bring your hand through and interlace the finger holding on to the right leg behind the thigh. Flex uh, both feet, focus on the breath, inhale and exhale. Let's uh, bend both knees and we drop uh, uh, our knees to the left and twist. Turn your head to the right, palms uh, down on the floor, both shoulder on the floor, belly facing the sky. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, gently twist. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, gently twist. Let's uh, go back to center. We bend both knees and drop uh, uh, your knees to the right and twist. Uh, turn your head to the left, palms uh, down on the floor, both shoulder on the floor, belly facing the sky. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, gently twist. From here, we go into windshield wiper, bend the, the knees, feet flat on the floor and arms uh, stretched out to the side. Gently rotate your legs to the left and hold. Let's rotate the, the knees to the right and hold. Let's uh, rotate uh, the knees to the left and hold, windshield wiper. 
windshield wiper to the right and hold. Let's uh, windshield wiper to the left and hold. Let's windshield wiper to the right and hold. From here, let's bend the, the knees and we go into our final resting pose, Shavasana. Resting the hands alongside the body, feet a little wider than hips, drawing shoulder blades under, sacrum heavy, head heavy, body sinking into the floor beneath you. Relax your face, relax the jaw, the, relax the eyes, arms and legs, resting here in Shavasana. Quiet mind, quiet body, Shavasana. We will uh, now release the practice of Shavasana very slowly and very gently. Begin to make a small movement with your fingers and your toes. Take a deep breath into your belly. Interlace your fingers and stretch uh, your body. Let's uh, fold into one side. Head resting on arm. Inhale and exhale. Push yourself up with both hands. Sit in a comfortable seat. Hands in prayer to heart center. Place hands on forehead, reminding us to have clear and loving thought. Place hands on heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intention. Place the hands on mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communications. Namaste. Notice how you felt before the practice and how you feel now. Thank you so much. If you like the class, please subscribe to the channel and press like.